That is my mummy. Uh, <laughs> this thing is not working. Like, come on. There it goes. Sorry, everybody. So, phone gimbals. Phone gimbals to make it not shaky while I am holding the phones. Because Cody's not here today. Seriously? Every time, like, I don't pay attention to this gimbal for, like, five seconds, it, like, goes limp and gives up on me. <laughs> so, I don't... This is just... This is embarrassing. Um, if anybody has any tips on this Insta360 gimbal to make it not go limp on me? This is killing me. Absolutely killing me. I know Cody, I know I'm live. Is it doing a lot of funky stuff? Like it keeps dropping on me. I don't think this gimbal's gonna work for <laughs> YouTube. The one on Instagram's working just fine. Why is that? Why is it working fine on Instagram? And it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, this is supposed to be way different. The one that I have my Instagram set up with is working just fine. But this one is just trying to do some funky stuff. I think I'm going to have to hold the one for YouTube because for whatever reason, TikTok one's working just fine. <sighs> okay. Oh my. All right, I'm gonna attempt to leave the office and take you guys to Wrecker Rick and the boys and Hellboy and all that. So let's try, shall we? While I'm in the middle of figuring out my problems with these Insta360s. I'm so sorry. Cody, we're gonna have to like really figure this out a lot better. Let me find everybody. All right. Sorry. Y'all are just gonna have to bear with me. There we go. Hey, where's Unky? Say hi. Hi, everyone. He's where? I can't hear. You. Okay. Say hi. I'm having some major issues with this phone gimbal. I don't think I'm gonna, like, did you see how it just dropped? Yeah. It just dropped and is like dying on me. This one doesn't. This one's not doing that. This one is. It's. Huh? Yeah. And you see how it keeps doing that? This one's TikTok, this one's YouTube. Welcome back to Murphy's Diesel, folks. Uh, we're having a little technical difficulties. For, do you see that? Okay, yeah, just take it out of there. Yeah. It's not gonna... We're not using a gimbal today, folks. <laughs> so. Not on YouTube, sorry. Y'all are gonna have to deal with the shakiness. How's, how's everybody doing on YouTube, huh? How's everybody's day going? What's up, TikTok? Are you gonna stand out here for a minute? And I'll just set this down. So, 
or you hold that one. Just selfie yourself while I try to read comments. So this little trigger button on the back, like will like make it try to like start searching for something, just FYI. I don't know what is going on in my comments now. I cannot see any of your guys' comments. Hey, Trey, no, let me see your phone. bolt our shock tower on so it's removable because when you put that big old shock tower in here you can't work on any of this stuff you have to work around it and it sucks so I cut them off the frame put this insert on there now they're removable so uh, ash forks good you know it's just ash fork it's always the same ash fork never changes How's uh. ash fork today heavy teeth Old. All right, I'm gonna start reading some comments. I had to log in to Trey's phone because for whatever reason, my live on my phone, I think it's because the gimbal jacked it all up. It's not showing me any of your comments. Mark. Exhaust leak today on the compound turbos. We've got Hellboy fired up, finding out all the issues that we were having. Uh, now that we got the truck running, we can work out some more bugs. Uh, ben, we I run Lincoln Lincoln welders for and for made I run Miller welder and that's the way I prefer it. I like the Lincoln uh, stick welders and I like the uh, Miller wire feeds. And actually we run a Lincoln, uh, Heavy T runs a, a Lincoln TIG, TIG rig too. What's up with the that? I, that's why I had to get Trey's phone. I had, I just said that I don't know if it's the phone doing whatever it did too many times. Just don't touch it. What's up, De Niro? So I can't read the comments. Oh, guys. Say hi to YouTube. What's up, YouTube? They can't hear you. What's up, YouTube? There you go. Get in there. Yeah, email me. Email me the link. <whistles> hey, Mark, are you ready to start it? Oh, 
You want to get it together so we can start it? Yeah. Uh, no, it's not street legal. But let's keep that on the down low. You know? The Red Dragon's not exactly street legal. Huh? Go ahead, no. Don't don't let me interrupt you. But but the laws around here uh, are are real lax on stuff like this. So we'll take this truck this truck on our local roads, but we're not gonna take it. We're not gonna take it. We're not going to take it on, uh, on, you know, roads outside of Ashworth, Williams area, uh, like Flagstaff, you know. Yeah, I mean, this is all small towns. We don't have, like, a metropolitan area, so we don't have to worry, worry about laws too often. You know, in regards to street legal trucks. Can you up? I really feel like you're just setting us up for failure. Nothing. Uh, where are you going to test Hellboy at? Uh, I think we're going to make a trip to Sand Hollow before the off-road games. Um, maybe the sand chute. You know the sand chute where all those guys got stuck. Um, yes, we are going to put spades on the back of Hellboy. Uh, I haven't started building them yet, but I'm going to build that are mounted on like a shank that comes out of the side right here that's removable and I can flip them up I could flip the spades up and stow them up high and then bring them back down and I'll have them pinned with quick connect uh, hydraulic lines so we can take them on and off because they're going to be heavy so. De Niro did you get your wheels back? Jeez. What was the guy's name? Daniel And he works for waste management in well, Prescott? Uh -huh. Is he still not answering your calls? Oh, wow. Seth found his house. <laughs> convoluted bags. Uh, honestly, I'd have to look up the part number on them. Um, they're basically like what you would see on a Great Dane or a uh, utility trailer, like a Reaper dry bed. What was the question? They were asking if De Niro got his tires back. And he said no, but Seth found the guy's house where the guy lives that's got his tires. So I don't. If, if Hot Rod found the guy's house, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Cody said it's really audio is kind of distorted with everything going on in the background. Imagine that, Cody. <laughs> Why don't you try, you know, giving us some mics and stuff? Set up, you know, set about Galvin. <laughs> Crowbar. Cody on YouTube or? YouTube, yeah. Um, has Matt's off-road recovery phoned you about the record games yet? Uh, he hasn't phoned me. I got an email in regards to that, but I haven't heard anything other than uh, they said somebody would be reaching out to us within... You need to go in the office. Within the next week or so. Hey, <laughs> 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 
Yes, we were going to put an onboard welder on Hellboy. Uh, yes, we are making a career of building Hellboy. <laughs> Um, do we have side winches on Hellboy? I don't think you do yet, right? Um, right. So the side winch, we're not running side winches, plural. So we run a side winch, uh, same thing as we run on our black mega cab on track. Uh, I mount a winch in the body right here, down in here. And I run a fair lead up and I could run it off both sides. Put my fair leads right here. I can show you the setup. Let's go with this. Uh, black yeah. So we run one winch to cut down on weight. There's no reason to run multiple winches. Uh, you're not going to be winching off each side at the same time. Hi. Can't complain. Say hi to YouTube on my phone, TikTok on, on Ricky's. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't learn that. <laughs> I watch your channel all the time. Oh, thank you. I never thought I'd need your sex. I yeah. came down the other day over there at the truck stop. Made a phone call to Murphy's in an air minute. To the service truck, diagnosed it. Told me over here, had me up and running in no time. Thank you, I appreciate Thank you. that. Yeah. I mean, you had five trucks here. And you got them all out like a deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you guys do it. Some, sometimes we do a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody needs towing or work done, this is the place to come. Yeah. We appreciate that. Just make the phone call. Fair price. I mean, here I thought I was going to be paying thousands of dollars. It was like nothing. Unbelievable. We appreciate Good. you. Yeah, we appreciate it. No problem. I'm glad you guys are here. Me too. Uh, you want to show up the side dish? Yeah. So. This is the side winch. So see, we run one winch right here on the bed. And we got a winch ring right there, comes up through there, comes out this fair lead. Now I could take this off and I could route it to the other side. Over there, there's a fair lead on that side as well. And we have a couple of videos on YouTube that we've uh, actually used this system on. It works pretty good. Um, but this is what I'm putting on Hellboy as well. So it'll have the same exact setup as that. Um, what, what video? The Ford, Ford Raptor? Uh, there's the snakes. The snake, I forget what it was called. Snakes something. Yeah, Off-road recoveries where so I went with you and Kayla. And also, you can run a winch ring snatch up down to right here and you can get a local. You can get a local too. So, and Hellboy is going to have three points. They'll have one right here and have one all the way down here on the slider to pull from. So, that's why we're not running uh, multiple side side puller winches, side winches. We're just running one. It'll cut the weight in half, you know. So. Um, Ezra just at, said that he asked if you're going to run multiple winches because sometimes on tight trails it, you can't turn around to get it from the other side. 
but I think we explained that you can come up. So we can come off either side. Yeah. Yep. With one wing. What's up, Mark? Um, Ezra just said, I guess Rory isn't going now. That's he just said Rory. Merlin and Fabrats all have said they're not going. It's interesting. Why is everybody not going to the off-road game? Is it because we're going? <laughs> it's because we're going. <laughs> Hey babe, yeah. what size winch is that that you have or that we're gonna run on on Hellboy that does that? Uh, 12, 12, 12K. 12K? I hope that answered your question, uh, Twisted. Twisted Gaming, it's gonna be a 12K winch. Hi Bob from Colorado. The tires are 58 inch Mickey Thompson's. Uh, place called Dirty Diesel in Canada. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, John. We're not sure either. We got to do some more research for the audio portion. Um, <laughs> but. Murphy? I'm Murphy. <laughs> I'm the Murphy. What's up, Dom? Hi, Lewis from Arkansas. Dom. 
Yeah, we saw the post about the liability factor that um, that was the reason why Fab Rats wasn't going to be in. <laughs> Where's Rowdy? <laughs> I ain't seen that old scumbag in a while. <laughs> What brand fair leads are you using? Uh, we're, we're sponsored by Yankum for our fair leads, so we use Yankum on fair leads. Thank you, Rasmus. This whole thing? No, we're gonna scrap it. We're gonna scrap this frame unless any of you all want a uh, 80s model two wheel drive three quarter ton frame. Chevy. Uh, about the winch running off the side. Uh, T-Bear asks, running the winch that direction and off the side, is it going to put the rope at either side of the winch and ball up or no? Uh, no, it actually works really well. Um, the winch ring keeps it in the middle of the drum. Um, and uh, I haven't had any problems with it yet. So we've, I've used it quite a bit. And uh, here. Not doing <laughs> oh, you got to push the button here. Push this right here and it'll come back up. There you go. If it does that again, if it drops down, just push it again. If you don't move for whatever reason, those so, things just uh, die. The, no, it, it, it so it, it rewinds the uh, rope in the middle of the drum and then it just kind of falls to the outer edges once it gets full. It actually works really well. So uh, the only thing I might change is I might go to a different winch. They actually make a winch, a side puller winch, that has a really skinny drum, so the rope just stays in one spot. What? Oh, uh, TikTok says that we were flagged um three minutes ago for a violation harassment bullying um somebody on there is just flagging us so our live gets taken down we'll just ignore it i mean sorry TikTok, if we get taken down somebody on here is yeah, one of flagging our videos like for whatever reason yeah i would imagine it's because of hellboy not because we actually probably a ford guy that doesn't like dodge <laughs> i'm not a dodge guy either i don't you know so um, how is the off-road? How's the off-road rollback? Where is the off-road rollback? Did y'all move it? What'd you do with it? Yeah. It's I around here somewhere. More rams than I do. Because anyway. <laughs> I like them. I'm not. I don't like them better than Ford or Chevys necessarily. Um, they want to know who's driving right? Hellboy in the game, so we don't know yet. They haven't. We don't know how that's working yet. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, We're waiting for more Dale information. <laughs> We're going to have Dale Brisby drive it. He doesn't know it yet. But, so go over there and leave him some comments. Tell him that he needs to come drive Murphy's Wrecker in the off road games. Uh, if you guys are watching this, make sure you hit the you thumbs up button, off. give us a like, a subscribe, drop a comment. Um, on TikTok, make sure, I don't know how, how uh, heart you, the Michael. video. I don't know. We think you're awesome too. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna put a stack on Hellwood. Uh, I just gotta figure out how. The way I got everything routed now, it's kind of gonna be difficult figuring that out. Um, but, but I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's gonna take some time. Sure would be nice to get some snow.
Are you the next Chris Stapleton? Gary S.'s wife is curious. Stapleton? Yeah. I'm imagining because you had and whatnot you got going on. I'm the western version of Chris Stapleton. <sighs> uh, have you tested the new tracks on Black Betty? No. No. I mean a little bit like around around here uh, we've done some stuff like just you know in the dirt and rock and stuff. Uh, we've tested it but I haven't we haven't done anything in snow yet. We don't have any snow. You know, we, we started off getting, we had a couple big snowstorms come in, and then it turned to rain and it melted all of our snow. We have no snow, folks. Uh, lots of mud right now, but no snow. And uh, apparently people aren't out and about getting stuck, so haven't had hardly any off-road recoveries either. How's the new shop coming? It's coming. Uh, we're, we're getting the offices framed up this week. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we'll have we'll be getting in there and uh, doing some electrical stuff. And got new doors coming. What are those? Like three, four weeks out? Yeah. Did you actually order? Yes, I ordered them. So. My name's not Recorate. Right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, if I had to order stuff around here, folks, uh, Murphy's wouldn't be. Successful. As, as uh, Y'all should build an off-road rotator. I agree. We're going to. We're just 100%. waiting until Diesel Brothers gets theirs done. <laughs> um, because that's supposed to be the... And then we're going to build one bigger and better. Yeah. I just have to see it first, folks. So, Because I don't want to build my off-road rotator first. And then, you know, have to build a second off-road rotator. Because it's not as good as theirs. <laughs> Uh, why don't you just drop south to Table Mesa to test it? And that area has everything you could possibly want, and it's only like a hundred miles away from you. Let's do it. So Bronson with Rec Gear, probably. I mm -hmm. think he actually said something about going down there. Uh, Bronson's gonna come with us when we test it out the first time. So. Yeah. Um, and Bronson with Rec Gear. If y'all don't know who he is, go check his channel out. He has a YouTube channel, Bronson. Is his name Rec Gear? Is his channel name? Uh huh. I think they're out of Chino Valley, right? Yeah, Arizona. So there's not so. a lot of YouTube channels in Arizona, so uh, we found Rex Gear mm -hmm. uh, at the Off Road Expo. We met him through Casey Highlights. And through Casey Highlights, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna do do some things together. I mean, there's not, you know, uh, I think me and him, and I think Merlin's is pretty much the only thing going on in in Arizona really so that I know about unless y'all know about something that I don't know about. um Joe said cut horns cut off horns on top Hellboy's cab would look badass that would be cool does Mrs. Wrecker Rick like hand tooled leather yes <laughs> who doesn't like hand tooled leather <laughs> you know? uh, we're western of course so that's from J and T Leather. I mean, if you if you, are you do you make hand J and T like, Leather. Why don't you make me a new pair yeah. of pigskin leggings? <laughs> you know, that's what I need. Uh, shotgun style. <laughs> uh, hi, Mike from hey. South Dakota. Will you have a big American flag flying at your new shop? Of course. You betcha. There's a there's a light pole over here. Not a light pole. I'm sorry. A flagpole. There's a flagpole. You just can't really see it on the other side of that oh, yeah, canopy there. Nice. The shell station next door to uh, us. They have a... They have one all set up. Yeah, nice. Seen that. Do heavy what? T, heavy T bought me a Blackhawk the other day. I don't know he you know, did? Heavy D. Oh, I thought you said Heavy T. And, uh, he's coming in right now, folks. <laughs> Isn't that right, Heavy T? <laughs> Heavy T is going to be the first one to get his helicopter pilot's license with Murphy's Diesel. And then Mrs. Wrecker Ray. Well, we why am I, I was going to say, why am I on, like, why, are why am I on the back burner? There it is, folks. <laughs> Thank you.
fall over your glasses. <laughs> oh my gosh, shut it off. Sorry for that if that hurt any of your ears. What's up with these invites on here? Does um, no, Anybody just ignore them. Yeah, don't touch them. <laughs> um, Check it out, folks. So we got to build a front bumper for it. Just like the rest of my trucks, I never have front bumpers on them. <laughs> so I'm the only one that can build a front bumper around here. Heavy teenies to step his game up. We need to build a new headache rack. Uh, I'm thinking a side puller for this job too. Get rid of this piece of crap. Um, Thomas has asked if we're gonna get any new heavy units this year. I mean, sh stay tuned. I, yeah, it's, only it's only the beginning. Huh? I said it's only the beginning, of the, beginning of the year. <laughs> so, so the thing is, is it Thomas? Yes. Thomas, uh, I'm a real shoot from the hip type of guy. So when I want to buy a heavy wrecker, Thomas, I buy one. I don't <laughs> order them. So, um, Except for really the 75 impatient. ton. We ordered the 75 yeah, ton. Yeah, 75 ton. And see, the 75 ton, I ordered that, and by the time it was done, I was like, I didn't even want the thing anymore. <laughs> I was so pissed off that Miller attacked on another 100 grand. And uh, honestly, there was lots of things that didn't even get done the way I wanted them done mm -hmm. and I ordered the truck so um, and I don't remember if you know I ordered it that way or if somebody else or you know or, or if they didn't or if they didn't uh, take my order correctly or if it was me because it took so long to get the truck you know uh, you order the truck two years out year and a half out by the time it gets here you want something different so I like to buy trucks, um, you know, when I'm ready. Like, so next month I might be like, you know what, I need another 30 ton. And then I start making phone calls and I find a truck and, and I buy the truck. And uh, it's pretty much the way we do everything around here. Uh, will the new shop have a driver's lounge and restaurant? It will definitely have a driver's lounge. The new shop will not have a restaurant. No, but there's going to be uh, some right next door. We are building a truck stop, folks. Yeah. Uh, and the new truck stop will have a restaurant. And you will be able to officially buy some Murphy's Diesel. <laughs> uh, um, Robert asked, what did you have to do to get Hellboy running? I, I guess, he, what was that um, final issue? So, the problem with Hellboy was uh, when I bought a new ECM for it, uh, it was a remanufactured ECM, and I should have just went and bought a new one. But when I bought the remanufactured ECM, it had the code, it, the the VIN number, flashed in it from the previous truck, and they sent it to me. They were supposed to flash my VIN into it. They didn't do it, and no. If it's that's that one that just pulled it, in, he might be just turning I had to around. Pay somebody to come, but keep an eye on him and flash the the ecm get it going and that was it what's going on with the military truck uh the same gun i'm imagining that's what he's talking about uh, that's the only military truck we have so it's gotta be that one ultra instinct uh will it be an ash fork will what be an ash fork our new shop i mean if you're talking about our new shop or the oh you're talking about the truck stop yes yes Yes, the truck stop will be in Ashport. Uh, it's actually gonna, see this shop right here? We're gonna tear this shop down right here. As soon as we move into our new shop out back, we're tearing that down. And see, this is the pad over here. That's the pad for the truck pumps. That's where our truck pumps are gonna go. We're gonna have 20 truck pumps, diesel pumps right there and then the truck stop is going to be uh directly behind this. what's your truck stop casey you asked what's your truck stop going to have the shell doesn't um truck pumps <laughs> the shell only has i think two if i'm not mistaken uh, staring at it 400 um like, can you pick it up? so they're gonna have 10 actual truck pumps 
So it's going to be like a, it's just going to be a truck stop. It's not going to cater to automobiles. Like the Shell station will still exist and be here for the automobile. Do it 10 times. No, keep doing it. Uh, I don't, I don't think he should keep doing it. You should stop. There you go. Good job, Heavy T. <laughs> heavy T takes after his little Uncle Wrecker Rick. Hey, Just a brick shit house, yeah. folks. <laughs> Just doing out here doing squats with a truck frame. Put the axle in it and do it. Huh? Go and lift that axle. Um, did you fix your wife's truck? Yeah. I can't. You can't? Huh. Uh, what was wrong with my wife's truck? I think they're talking about the tracks. the tracks. Yeah. yeah. I did. I fixed I fixed her truck. Better than ever. Yeah. Better than new. <laughs> Has Hot Rod Sam piece dropped yet? <laughs> that is mixed with truck, Greg. Samuel? <laughs> Samuel Hopkins? God, <laughs> Stu? Stu? Stupid asshole? <laughs> No, well, I've got it. I'm reading comments on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I did see Gentry and Sons got a record. Uh, Rich Smith. Uh, yes, Paul, Hot Rod, and his slam piece had their baby. A nice. Yeah, they definitely need some help. Nice of you to What's ask. That? I said Paul asked if Hot Rod and his slam piece dropped their baby yet. Yes. They yes. Did. Hot Rod has had his baby. Uh, he was in labor for six hours and <laughs> finally pushed him out. He had to uh, get a uh, astipus serectomy. Uh, section. Astipus section. I think it's what it's called. No. Dude. Like. Hot Rod can't have a baby. Hot Rod can't push a baby out. Anyways, moving on. Yes, um, <laughs> with the help with the astipus section, <laughs> astipus erectomy, you can't. <laughs> that's, that's called. Oh my gosh. Uh, is Hellboy rolling around yet? Yes. If uh, Once this uh, live is done, you can go back and watch it and you'll see that. Well, not rolling, no, but not I mean, I guess hammer. actually the answer uh, to that is I no. To, but I didn't realize it was actually going on right now. So I dropped the. I dropped, I dropped the ball on that one. So we're going to have to catch the King of the Hammers next year. Uh, go over to Bronson at Wreck Gear and thank him for that. Because he should have he should have been riding my ass about it. You know? but he Will you ever make a shop in Williams? Uh, yeah, you know what we want to do? Because we live in Williams, so... Uh, what we want to do in Williams is we want to build our headquarters, uh, Murphy's Diesel headquarters, right in Williams. And that'll be the shop where me, Hot Rod, De Niro, and Heavy T work at. And all we do is builds. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, we'll do builds and then we go do big recoveries. So we do a lot of recoveries. And so a lot of stuff like we don't show simple winch outs and stuff. Um, because we do, we do so much stuff. Uh, it's hard for us to, we need to come up with multiple channels to show all this stuff uh so we just kind of try to do the highlights you know of, of the good stuff we don't do you know little jackknives and winch outs and uh, we try to show all the off-road recoveries as long as it isn't cars like i i don't really like to show cars off-road recoveries like we do a lot of those tourists um we try to just do the big stuff and uh, maybe in the future we'll do more you know the smaller stuff and, uh, as we branch out and, and come up with more more channels how long before hellboy's finally ready since you're making a career out of building hellboy uh i am trying to so just like you know like i said we got so much stuff that we do other than just build hellboy uh we uh we build um, I mean, we, we do recoveries. I have diesel repair shops. I have three locations. So, short answer is I don't know. Um, uh, I'm thinking like maybe a week or two. It's running now. So, we got the shock mounts today. We were actually going to have it out running 
for this live today, but I got busy the last two days and I did not get to work on Hellboy. Uh, me and Heavy T had to go. We've been doing spindles because uh, Hot, Hot Rod's Rod on paternity leave, having a baby. So um, we've been having to do Hot Rod's job on top of everything else. So uh, me and Hot Rod are the only axle surgeons in the company. So if Hot Rod's not doing axle surgeon jobs, then I have to do the axle surgeon jobs. What's up with the white Jeep behind you? Uh, the white Jeep's another project. I, I'm wanting to put, uh, I have 60s to put in the white Jeep and I have a pair of 42s that I want to put on it. And Are you dropping uh, a diesel in it? We want to drop a diesel engine in it. We don't know, probably a 12 valve. Um, or a 4BT, uh, I don't know. But it's just one of those things, like I, I gotta build a bumper for the front of this truck. Um, you know, if you if you folks know anybody out there, if you know any off-road fabricators, builders, um, that are, uh, that are really good at what they do, have them give us a call. You know, if they're interested in working for us. Not a call. Email. Email Rick at murphysdiesel.com. Email Rick at There you go. Um, we're looking for folks that have a lot of experience in, you know. I can building, build a bumper. <laughs> uh, building bumpers, building roll cages. Headache racks. Uh, desert trucks, rock crawlers, stuff like that. I mean, if it's just, you know, been your hobby, uh, I'm not really looking. I'm looking for. Um, Expertise. Yeah, expertise some expert uh fabricators so um what are the chances of you guys buying a new nrc 85 ton rotator and has rick ever operated an nrc i have not operated an nrc but the chances are high uh i honestly i would have an 85 ton nrc um right now if i didn't buy my 75 ton um I don't, I, honestly, I don't know. I've actually talked to NRC and they were really hard to deal with. So, uh, which, I mean, that's the way of the world now, right? Yeah. Everything is hard to deal with. Everybody's hard to deal with. Everybody, nobody cares about customer service anymore. Um, they don't care if, you know, uh, you take your business out for They don't, you know, it's. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Who knows? Well, Anthony asked if you had to use the wrecker to deliver the baby. <laughs> <laughs> just these hands <laughs> I had them you know wrist deep in hot rod pulling that baby out will you be hiring for master techs and advanced techs we're hiring yes. now yes we are we're hiring now so email rick master, at murphy's master diesel techs at advanced techs we're always looking the only thing we're full on recovery specialists folks we're full on drivers we don't need any new drivers but we're always looking for um, diesel techs and uh, guys that can fabricate. Is that a new Hobo Freight air compressor for the service truck on that pallet? Uh, no, you know what? that, that you, uh, That's for a project that I can't tell you all about. I was going to say, don't you? Uh, <laughs> don't say I it. almost told you. <laughs> um, but, you know, in uh, about three weeks, we'll probably be dropping a video on it. Uh, that'll be pretty good watching. Um, gonna be it's like our first collaboration so when's the next video coming out we do videos every saturday folks mm -hmm. between every four and saturday. between four and six p.m arizona time yeah. it drops we do lives every wednesday in which mm -hmm. we might change that because folks are working on wednesdays and i understand that uh so we might be changing our lives to sundays which means i'll have to work on a sunday but I'll do it for you guys. So oh. I already do it. Anyway. I can't do lives on Sundays. I got to be at home with the kids. So it'll just be. I guess our It'll just be Wrecker Rick and De Niro and Heavy T. And Crowbar. And Crowbar. <laughs> Maybe Hot Rod after he's back from paternity Wait, leave. Has Crowbar been on there? Crowbar, where you at? I think he went back to driving. <laughs> he probably got mad at me when I told him. Mm. Anthony said he Any loves questions? you. I love you too, Anthony. Where did you work as a wild, li wild land firefighter? I'm sorry. I can't uh, talk Tucson, right. Tucson, Arizona. The Grand Canyon, South Rim. 
Uh, yeah, uh, D-O-M. Um, I've said folks 47 times on this live. <laughs> Probably more like 80. Uh, my wife said 80. <laughs> 80 fold. The folks counter is 82 now. Uh, if you guys are watching our lives, make sure you like the live, subscribe on our YouTube, follow us on TikTok, uh, wherever you're watching. Hey, you can answer those too. You Hit the little thumbs up button that likes the video. Yeah, it definitely helps us out. Drop a comment. Uh, sorry, folks. I'm not answering TikTok comments because De Niro doesn't know how to read. Uh, heavy T will read them off, though. So. Um, can we get a story from the days on the ROs? Uh, That'll put you on the spot, huh? A story from the days on the ROs? Yeah. Uh, it was negative 10 degrees out. <laughs> The sun is high in the sky. It's colder than a well digger's asshole. Colder than a well digger's asshole, folks. <laughs> there I was with one of my trusty mounts. <laughs> Just a colt. He was. His name was Twister. He was. He was named after Twister. Was it Twister Killer? Twister Killer. And uh, had my hounds all around, and we're going up a ridge chasing a mountain lion and out of nowhere a grizzly bear no. <laughs> uh, so no i will tell you a story though so i got a story it's a bear hunting story so um we were hunting bear on the ro's and i trailed a great big bear into a, an oak thicket and and the dogs went in there and it was a black bear and I was standing up on the cliffs right there and the dogs were trailing around. I could hear them fighting with the bear and trailing through there and, and making all kinds of noise. And, and the black bear come running up the ridge and not looking at me. And I was standing right there and he come running right up to me. And he was from me to you guys, you know, that close. And <laughs> finally I hollered at him and he looked up and I had my 357 out pointed at his head, just waiting for him to run through me. and. And he turned around and jumped down in the brush and the dogs were fighting him. And out of the other side of the brush, a brown bear, a cinnamon bear come running out with the dogs, dogs on his tail. And we went down there, we caught him in a tree. So we lost a black bear in the brush, but we caught a, a cinnamon bear out of the brush. We chased him down there, run him up a tree, ended up killing him. And, and he was like third in the state. Huge bear. That's a really good story, babe. Uh, Scuba Steve said, build a diesel burnout truck for Cletus and cars. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what was he that, said, Mark? He said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Build a burnout. Don't they build their own trucks? I don't I mean, over the, go over there and tell them. Huh? Over the burnout competition. They don't? Mm -hmm. Oh, build one for us to go to the burnout competition? We build one. To Speak up. We build one to go to his burnout competition. Oh, we do? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> this truck. So would you you guys like to do that? Yeah, we got a truck right here. Yeah, boy. We'll just roast them 58. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> no way. Okay. Uh, is... Sorry. Hold on. Got to get with the right record distrib distributor. I recommend New England Truck Center if you are interested in an NRC build. Uh, is Heavy T turning into a mini Rick with the beard? I'm not acknowledging that comment, Sam Hopkins. <laughs> What's Sam Hopkins, sir? Use Tragen's truck. Or Heavy T. Use Heavy T's Use truck. Use Mixer Truck Trag's truck. Use Mixer Truck Trag's truck. We can do that. Uh, Crowbar said that he has church on Sundays. He can't be here for the lives uh, either. Use, use De Niro's Toyota. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear me? What? Crowbar has church on Sundays. He can't do lives on Sundays either. I guarantee a crowbar does not go to church. <laughs> He's saying that because that's my excuse. Because I go to church on Sundays. What year is the red Chevy uh, in the garage? Oh, the Narrows. Y'all got church. Huh? They're asking what year that red that Chevy is, a, is in the garage. 2024. 2024. F450 <laughs> Cummins. Equinox. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to change the subject. Sorry. <laughs> I'll answer that later. Grady asks, Wrecker Rick, are you doing something for Valentine's for Mrs. Wrecker Rick? Of course. <laughs> of 
Valentine's Day starts four weeks in advance in my house. So every day I do something for leading up to the big day. You do? That's right, you do. Stop you do? I'm Stop sorry. Cat. You're right, you do. That is not a red Who am I kidding? It's a Chinook. <laughs> What's the best truck to start a tow company with? Uh, a Dodge flatbed. Best truck to start a towing company with? Uh, man, I would say a 4024. Um, you know, a lot of people probably disagree with that, but a single axle 4024. You can do light duty tows with it. You can do recoveries with it. You can do tractor trailers uh, tows with it. You can do box truck tows. You can do all kinds of stuff with it, uh, from light to heavy to uh, ultra light to. It's very versatile. So, uh, like I mean, yeah. There have been times when you popped in that thing and. Fifty one thirty is a really good truck too. It's just yeah. the T head is bigger on fifty one thirty, so uh, it's not as versatile as a forty twenty four. 4024 you could put smaller wheel grids on it and you could tow light duty with it if you were going to get the nrc 85 ton would you get their sliding rotator yes i think i don't know um so it depends how much heavier it is but yeah more than likely i would probably get their slider uh, my wife and i travel with our horses do you have places to ride yeah. Uh, yeah, around everywhere. Here, like everywhere. Uh, Northern Arizona, you could ride anywhere. I mean, I can uh, tell you guys all kinds of places to go. Uh, Are you trying to come visit Terry? Is that why you're asking? You come, visit come visit, bring your horses. We'll go riding together. Like, uh, maybe not. We're too busy, but you guys can go. <laughs> um, the only thing you're gonna catch me riding is Bronx, Terry. Because I tear down Bronx and ride honky tonks. What's For, your opinion of the Jack Lift system that Casey Ladello? Zach Lift. The Zach Lift system. No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Watching his videos, it looks like it performs really well. So I had one of those setups, not by Zach Lift, but I had one by Metro. And biggest piece of shit this side of the Mississippi. Mississippi part. Um, but. Uh, this I, side I talked of the to Canadian Casey border. and um, everything that he said about it, he loves it. Uh, I've actually, uh, I think I might replace my DTV with it. Uh, it looks like a badass unit. So. Do you ever watch Pepe's towing or Plaza towing? Uh, I, I've never heard of Plaza, but I do watch Pepe's. Um, yeah, I like Pepe's towing. Old man Vic is drinking a Topo Chico while he's watching our video. Enjoy, Vic. Enjoy, old man Vic. Paul said he understands old you, Rick. <laughs> Paul said, I, I get you, Rick. I was attacked by a peacock. <laughs> <laughs> when we were talking about your bear story on the ROs. Well, yeah. He was attacked by a peacock. It's comparable. Man, that sounds rough. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you lose lose sleep at night over that one, huh? Tell your grandkids about it. <laughs> Time you took a peacock with your knife. There I was, it was negative 48. The sun was high in the sky. And a peacock come out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, Casey said you're a legend because firefighters get shit done. That's right. Thank you. You're a legend, Casey. Could you get a rotator chassis and make your own body for it? I could if I had the time. <laughs> I've got so many irons in the fire, folks. I, I don't think I would want to take that task on. What is your favorite chassis? Peterbilt, Kenworth, Western Star, or other? Kenworth. W900. Uh, so it depends. So it, it, it depends what chassis, what I'm going to use it for. So I like the uh, W900B because it's got a shorter hood, it's got a wider hood, uh, bigger radiator. Um, I like that for heavy haul spec units, but I like the W900L for like a road tractor, especially like stretched out 320 and uh, 355 gear ratio in it, 700 horse. 
engine with an 18 speed you know that's a long it's way to die for back. you know mm -hmm. you can run 110 down the highway just cruise kick that seat back can't even tell somebody's driving it <laughs> Um, Grady said he would like to see that Taco, a.k.a. Tacoma, do burnouts with Wrecker Rick driving. <laughs> Get it over here. Let's do it. Let's go. What's that mean? Bye, Mom. Love you. Flat tires don't spin. Not these ones. Uh, De Niro said no. No balls. Sorry, Grady. Um, uh, fed up said Rory is going that he's just not doing the record part. I, I did hear that. So, uh, I, uh, I watched Rory's live the other day. He got, he gave us a shout out. Um, Rory, if you ever watch any of my, watch this live, thank you. I appreciate the shout out. Um, and yeah, I, you know, I don't know. I can't, I don't have nothing to say to that. I, uh, they have their reasons. Yeah. So. I don't know. I, I really don't know what anybody else is doing um, <laughs> other than what you guys tell me. So I don't watch YouTube very often because I'm always busy making videos for you guys. So uh, if you guys tell me, then I, you know, I watched Rory's live because you guys told me to. Yeah. So um, um. <clears throat> I was in the pickup. We were going somewhere the other day and I watched it. The governor said, uh, Rick, actually, Metro is the biggest piece of crap in the world, not just on this side of the Mississippi. What? He said, Rick, actually, Metro is the biggest piece of crap in the world, not just this side of the Mississippi. Oh, don't get me started. That freaking DTU that they have. You know, if, so that DTU, I could have changed some stuff on it and made it better. So, like, where the Rams, they had the Rams coming down on the tailboard in the back, and it just put all the weight on the back of, of your of your tractor instead of the rams coming down to in between where your drives are uh you had i had to have a i basically had to have a service truck follow me around with it with a welder and all the time this thing was they, well, everything would break on it everything I, you know what happened to the original record deck on hellboy i still got it why you want it email at record email, email. rick Rick at murphysdiesel.com. Rick at murphysdiesel.com. Um, you can have it. I don't want it. What trucks are you going to take to the off-road games? Uh, probably that black mega cab right there. Um, probably Hellboy. I don't know. What trucks do y'all want us to take? You want us to take this flatbed here with us? Drop some comments. We could take this flatbed and go go try its hand at rock crawling. <laughs> the sand chute. We could go try it up the sand chute. So we're thinking that we're going to take Hellboy to um, up there to that neck of the woods. So uh, I've had some comments saying <laughs> that we need to go try the sand chute where Matt's off-road's wrecker got stuck and couldn't make it out of. Um, and I briefly watched parts of the video. And so I'm thinking that maybe a couple weeks before this event, we should take Hellboy and go try some of these things out. You know, that other YouTubers have done videos on. For sure. Are you kids grandparents? No, no, we're not. No, I'm only 39 years old. Who do you think you are? <laughs> some people How are dare you? Some people are grandparents at 39. No. Some people are grandparents at like 25. Oh, sorry. I think. That actually doesn't, may not add up. I don't know. Do the math. No, I, I could be. I almost got an 18 year old daughter. And started young. Can you ban people on a live? No, why? Because I'd like to ban Sam Miller. <laughs> why? What's that? He wants me to put the DTU on my Tacoma. <laughs> Stupid asshole. What are you doing? Why don't you just come down here? Shouldn't you be working? Yeah. Shouldn't you be working? Oh, yeah, I forgot you can't keep a job. <laughs> oh, boom. Anyways, on, did De Niro ever have to get another haircut uh, for payment of screwing up? I, I'm uh, sorry, I don't uh, understand that. Or shave it for right here. <laughs> huh? He shaved it again right here. Oh, yeah. 
That's right. So yeah, two times. So two times he's had to have a, a cold sac. What stupid ass is that? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stupid ass. I'm just kidding, stupid ass. You know you're my boy. Is Murphy's Diesel voting Trump? That's a personal question. What? Yes. <laughs> it's not personal for me. Okay. Part. Well, then fine. Here, let me read that louder. Nick asked, is Murphy's Diesel voting Trump? We're voting Kennedy. Will Rick run for president? Yeah, I'm voting Rick or Rick for president. Nick wants a what's up. What's up? <laughs> Yes, well, <laughs> so we went to we went to Excalibur. Has anybody ever been to Excalibur? We went to Excalibur in Vegas, and I took my daughter there because my wife was at an Adele concert, and I wasn't down with that. So uh, we went to Excalibur show, and when they would tell you to, they said this like Wusa. You say when you cheer, you say Wusa, and every time they do that, I'd be like Wusa. <laughs> And everybody would start laughing. Like They're like, it's not what's up. I'm like, it's we saw. I'm like, who gives a shit? <laughs> you didn't want to go to the Adele concert? Huh? You weren't into the Adele concert? The tickets were $5,000 a lamb. So. No, they weren't. Um, no, so funny story is, is I bought my wife Adele concert tickets. My oldest daughter found out and blew a head gasket. <laughs> so I lost my Adele ticket. So me and team, so me and team money team went. Money went to Adele, and me and Mad Dog went and watched Sex Cal. Yeah, couldn't have worked out better for me. <laughs> um, are you gonna put tracks on T Money's Jeep? Art wants to know. Yes. <laughs> she doesn't know it yet. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Thank you for. Uh, I think those tracks probably do better on her Jeep than they would the Cummins over there. Um, Brian, he is 39. Like, it's, it's true. How old do you think I am, Brian? Um, Ezra said, definitely take the flatbed, Black Betty, and Hellboy to the off-road game. Do it. Hey, we want to have a giveaway, folks. What do y'all think we should give away? We want to try one of them giveaway jobs. Right there. Who's interested? <laughs> That's right, folks. We're doing it again. We're giving away a 1986 Chevy two-wheel drive frame. Enter your chance to win. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, but no, seriously, we all want to do a giveaway. Tell us what you all want us to give away. We want to try it out. I've seen lots of other YouTube channels <coughs> over the years, and we want to give her a shot. I want to see what it's all about. I think Ronnie would mind. Huh? <laughs> I think they'd mind if we gave away Tiffany's truck. He don't truck. watch our channel, so he wouldn't know <laughs> until it ain't here no more. He shows up to pick it up. Uh, um, how is the weight loss going? Uh, I am plateaued right now, folks. And with a couple weeks to spare... It's literally in like it's not three days. A <laughs> couple weeks is three days. <laughs> three days. <laughs> Forgot about it until y'all just said something. <laughs> Toman127 wants a Hellboy plaque. Oh, that's Toman. Toe Man. What's up, Toe Man? I ain't, I ain't heard from you in a while. What do you want a plaque? You want a plaque? Like a belt buckle? What kind of plaque are you talking about here? <laughs> Rumor has it. <laughs> uh, anyways, um... I'm in Canada, and we have Tucker Carlson in Alberta. Yippee, yippee, so I'm, yippee, I vote for Trump. Can you vote in Canada? Yeah. Can, Canadians vote American president? <laughs> so man said, what's up, buddy? Been crazy busy. <laughs> Not me, Toe Man. No, I'm just kidding. Ditto. Uh, we are. We are, we are busy, but. He a metal cutout plate that he rolled it onto Elbow. You got it. Uh, Brian said he thought you were at least 53. Holy, Holy. are you kidding? <laughs> You're smoking crack, bro. 
Kick him. Kick him? Kick him off. Oh. <laughs> you don't get muscle definition like this, 53. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty three. Yeah, I don't even have gray hair, bro. Things that Rick or Rick hates. People. That <laughs> thinks he looks fifty three. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. Guys that think he's fifty three. <laughs> uh, no, they usually say that. Like I know a lot. Like usually I get that comment because I have a really good looking wife, so they like try to take the focus off of me and talk shit about me. So that's cool. It's cool, bro. Wouldn't have a good looking wife if I looked like I was fifty three. Terry to the Gremlin said, 4x4, 83 Chevy. I need the front half. It's yours, bro. <laughs> Come Don't pick it, it up. <laughs> On the house. Uh, I don't even know how to say Crutch? Crutch? It said, yours. give Hellboy away. Haha. -ha. I don't think I could do that. You got to read that one. Uh, too much for me. I got a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into Hellboy. But I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we'll build something cooler. Mr. Jimbo said, give away a rotator. And then T-Bear said, give your wife's truck away. Good idea, T-Bear. <laughs> We're not getting, wow. Well. We've talked about that multiple times. Yeah. Let's check it out. Who wants this? Who wants it? Huh? What do y'all think? Do you give away on my truck? Then what am I going to drive? <laughs> the Dodge <laughs> flatbed? <laughs> That'll be my grocery getter? <laughs> what? Stand back. It's got electric steps. Hey, you can't do that. My phone's trying to connect to the truck. <laughs> Randall, are you going to have Hellboy merch? Uh, stay tuned. We're working on some ideas for Hellboy merch. high-tech spray and bed liners those don't come factory i gotta get away from my truck like it's the laramie you're making youtube lag completely blacked out folks coming got the little running part on shut her down Craig said to give away a bag of Bailey's ropes. We did that already. Um, give away a 1986 Honda 253 wheeler. <laughs> can you can you guess who commented? <laughs> yeah. Drop the wheelie. Um. How about giving me that 359 for a giveaway? Give away the Tacoma. I can't. <laughs> Give away the Tacoma.
A clone of Hellboy would make a nice giveaway. Yeah, but would, so y'all would want a truck that, that radical, that extreme? Or would you want something you could drive daily? Grady said your impounded cars, you should start giving those away. I don't know if you know this, Grady, but most of those cars aren't worth even giving away. Yeah. Don said give away a Razor. I've given those cars away just for people. A Razor or a Can-Am? We don't have a Razor or a Can-Am. We could go buy one. Oh, we could. We'll Guess we could. One. That thing's pretty cherry. How about this baby right here, huh? How about that shifter? Where's that shifter? Look at that shifter. It's showing the shifter. Give away a 50 BMG Freedom Stick. Hey, that's not a bad idea. I got one in my safe. <laughs> check this. Check this out, folks. So, so the other day, uh, so I don't know if any of y'all have ever run into this trunk. Are the keys in my truck or your truck? I don't think. I think we lost them. All right. So no. basically, have you ever ripped a shifter off of one of these? Like just jumped in it, went to move it, and ripped the shifter right off? Well, here's the fix, folks. The knob goes right on there. The old shifter is about this high. I made a suicide shifter for it, so it comes up like really high. And you're not gonna break this off, folks. So three eighths steel. So that's what this baby's doing in here. Just getting a new shifter put in it. Old man Vic said, "Give away your hat and clock and your glasses." Uh, I've been a lot. I've been through a lot with this this old hat. So you know, this old hat's better left alone, old man Vic. <laughs> the glasses you can not have. My wife bought these for me for a gift. Christmas. And I'm pretty sure they say I love you, Wrecker Rick. <laughs> or those ones not engraved. Yeah, well, I'm slacking. All right, how about giving away a hat, shirt, and a hoodie? We could do that. We can do that. We, we actually, we are doing that. Uh, we have it coming up um, because we got to do the weigh-in on Hot Rods. Hot Rods, baby. Uh, baby. So, whatever y'all guessed in that video, we're going to do the, the giveaway on that here pretty soon. So. Mm hmm uh, <clears throat> Ezra said, give away tires since your nephew already started it. Yeah. <laughs> what? He said we should give away uh, tires. 35 since because you're, you're already doing it. Already doing it. So. What was your first record? My first record? Uh, so, the first, so, first heavy record? My first heavy record was a 90.55. Peterbilt, uh, three stage, pretty nice truck. I actually love that truck. Uh, my first uh, light duty wrecker was a 1986 Fuller. Uh, I don't remember what bed it had on it. And I had a 550 Holmes. Um, there's a 500 Holmes. I don't remember. It's not a 72 Chevy chassis. Uh, and then Hellboy, after, Hellboy's really my first light duty wrecker. Uh, we don't run light duty wreckers down here, so. We run flatbeds, uh, rollbacks. Yeah, we run rollbacks and, <clears throat> because we're on the highway. We don't do anything outside. So Hellboy's really my first light duty wrecker. Um, Casey said do a giveaway in the seat, in the seat with wrecker Rick for the day. Uh, do a ride along, you know, I guess. Y'all could just come and do that. Yeah, you can. You're no, welcome. Welcome to, come <laughs> welcome to stop by any time. Stop by and, and hang out. So, uh, I'm looking for an AMC Pacer. Alan is looking for an AMC Pacer. Uh, don't have anything like that, Alan. Why are you pulling your wallet out? Sorry. You fidgeting? Tell Slab Catfishing said give away a light duty wrecker. <laughs> light duty How wrecker? many of you could really use a light duty wrecker? I mean, you must either own a towing company or work for a towing company if you guys are wanting us so to give we, wreckers so if we away. Gave away a, a light duty wrecker, 
Uh, how many of you would daily drive it and not use it for towing? Yeah. I would. So yeah. Chris said also he thinks giving t-shirts and hats away are just as good. You don't need to give away tow trucks. <laughs> yeah. Give away a vehicle that you get from non-payer pickup, so out of our impound yard, but most of the stuff in our impound, our yeah. Impound you, pretty much. Uh, rarely do we get anything good. So. Yeah, I do need to start locking my truck, huh? No. <laughs> This is Ashford. They don't lock anything out. <laughs> Talking about how you got it in. It was starting to... <laughs> uh, what about Murphy's Diesel backpacks and carry bags? Maybe one day. Someday. Yeah. Someday we'll get some backpacks. Uh, Nikki said, build a Harley and make videos on it and give it away. <laughs> I've ran... I've, I've rode one Harley in my life. And that was from this exit back to this exit I'm not a big motorcycle rider uh not not to say i don't like them i, I just don't remember. the um the governor said do you have any experience with liquid spring suspension thoughts on it if you do uh so what i'm thinking uh i'm asking y'all's opinion on what we should give away but what i'm thinking for a giveaway is my ram 5500 with a liquid spring suspension on it, a uh, custom bumper on the front, and then I'm gonna rework the North Star bed on it, put 46s on it, and um, sell it as a welding rig, off-road welding rig. Uh, or not sell it, give it away. We don't sell hats down here, do you? Hats? Mm -hmm. uh, you, can, um, you can put in an order online and put it for pickup and I'll bring it to the shop, like probably in the next day for you to pick hats. up. Oh, okay. No. Are stupid you kidding? Asshole. Why am I wasting? Yeah, stupid <laughs> asshole, we'll give you a hat, bro. As a uh. Canadian, I would absolutely love an off-road rollback. <laughs> Anthony said, sweaters, decals, maybe a recovery rope, all you need for a giveaway. I mean, we've already done all those giveaways, but we wanted to do something bigger. Dragon's truck. Dragon's truck? Stupid asshole again? No. Um, Jordan, all of our live videos are posted after we're done, so you can go back and watch them. Whenever you're on our channel, you just you have to click on where it says lives. I think it says like videos at the top, videos, shorts, lives, and like community posts or something. You have to select the lives in order to see our lives, but you can go back and watch them. I think that other gimbal is better. Huh? I think that other gimbal is better. It is, yeah. The DJI. Yeah, it's way better. <laughs> Nobody can hear you. I'm getting comments again on YouTube about our audio. We can go somewhere else so he can work. Give away a hunting trip with Senior. Uh, that would be cool. I'd have to ask Senior if he's down to that. Somebody else said, hey, what about a hunting trip with you? Um, Black Betty giveaway. I'd have to check in on the legalities of that because I don't have a guide's license anymore. You'd have to so get I'd your guide's license. license. go. So doing like a giveaway hunt uh, might contribute us. Um, we'll look into it. We'll look into we'll it. We'll get, we'll get, get back it. to you. It's not a bad idea. Um, Art wants to see another look at the new building. Um, maybe next week. We're about, we're getting pretty close to wrapping this up here. Um, probably in the next 10 minutes or so, we're going to wrap her up. Yeah. We'll try to put one in the next uh, video or maybe I'll do a short of it, Art. Get a patent on the shifter if it works. Oh, it works. Uh, Hot Rod said you need to turn up your voltage. Well oiled machine. Tell him it's because you broke the stinger. <laughs> it's not a stinger. No, Paul said we need to add a can of Maverick to the Wrecker Ricks crew. I tried. We tried. Yeah, we tried. They wouldn't give us one. Yeah. They wanted it's... us to buy one. Can you believe that? <laughs> Someone no. needs to write a letter to them uh, guys. And they also wanted interest that was like crazy. Yeah, so so we were gonna we actually could go finance a can am 
Um, just because, you know what? Like, my only issue with can amps and these side by sides is they're so expensive. Like, I mean, I could take a Suzuki Sidekick and do the same thing with it for like 3,500 bucks, 4,000 uh, bucks. These are just so expensive. And so I, we're going to go finance one because it was $45,000. <laughs> well, the interest rate that they wanted was insane. And I mean, folks, I have gam up credit. You know, I'm not going to, I mean, I buy million dollar trucks with, with you know, uh, we buy all kinds of stuff on credit. So, um, we start businesses on credit. We, uh, build shops on credit, uh, you know, and still can get a good interest rate. Yeah. It's the life and times. It's the economy. Right? It's because so, it's a recreational so, deal. It's not, you know, you know, it's not a necessity. I don't have to have one. So yeah. I'm not going to um, take well, it in the shorts on an interest rate. Something I don't need. What do you do with your Thermo King units off of the semis? We sell them. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have. Do we have some right now? I think we, we might, might have, we one, might or have one or two. Yeah, we might have one or they two. They don't last long. We, usually, yeah. we sell them. Yeah. If you're, you're needing the Thermo King, uh, email, email me at Rick. Rick at murphysdiesel.com. Yep. Um, status on Hellboy. Hellboy's running. Yeah, it's running. We are just buttoning things up. Doing some last minute stuff on it. I mean, <laughs> look for Hellboy to be running sometime before the end of the month twisted gaming said give away a truck winch bed similar to hellboy or black betty you'd have to build it just a winch bed that's what i said um i got an eight one one ton eight oh okay sorry i'm reading those together i got an 81 one ton setting in my yard i drive it maybe three times a year tow truck insurance is too high yeah, tow truck insurance is too high, let me tell you. Personally. Oh. Personally. Yeah, you think you pay high interest or high insurance on on just a road tractor, you ought to try insuring a wrecker. The governor is asking, how do you like the Kalen Siebert trailer compared to Landol? Uh so I've never owned a Landol, but I have been around them and I have worked Landols. I like Landol better than Kalen Siebert. Well, the only reason I buy Kalen Siebert is because I'm a cheap from the hip guy and they never have any land dogs available when I'm ready to buy a trailer. And I don't like to order stuff, so, I, you know. Like I said, like, literally, like, a month from now, like, so right now, I'm good on equipment. I'm not like, I mean, there is some equipment where I'd like, eh, I wouldn't mind having this, I wouldn't mind having that. But we'll get in a bind where we absolutely have to have something and I'll go buy it and I won't. I won't order it, I'll just buy it. And so we don't always get what we want. Regina said, how about an all expense paid trip to go to the shop and meet and greet? As a giveaway. Sounds like a pretty good deal. Let's do it. Ezra said, do a bobblehead wrecker Rick giveaway. So we what if we do a uh, giveaway on, on a truck and then and then we do a giveaway for you to come get the truck. So we do a giveaway, and including in the giveaway of the truck, you guys will fly you out here, pick the truck up, hang out, go to lunch, you know, drive Hellboy. Because apparently we're just letting yeah. everybody drive our trucks nowadays. So. Sorry, Mark. I know I'm sniffling. Uh, it's cold out here, and De Niro's sniffling too. Our noses are running. We're not... As badass as Wrecker Rick, whose nose never sniffles. So mine does all the time. People always <laughs> accuse me of doing drugs. <laughs> I get beard hairs in my nose, so I'm not picking my nose. I'm getting beard nose, beard hairs out of my nose. How much torque slash horsepower is on Hellboy? Uh, I don't know. We haven't put it on a dyno, but uh, I'm thinking so somewhere around seven. Seven eight hundred. Giveaway winch box. It's not a bad idea. Uh, is Finner single? <laughs> yes, Andy likes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, he's not. No, Finner's a married man. Is there a reason you go a single rear wheel on your Rams over dualies? Is it to save on tires? It, it, yes, to save on tires and. 
Also, um, so I also don't like getting rocks stuck in my duels. Uh, we hit, we run into that a lot around here, getting rocks stuck in your duels. Um, I also, our roads, we don't leave the roads around here. Um, most of our off-road recoveries are on roads. So there is a bottom in our roads, but sometimes you have to have a tall, skinny tire to find that. So we want more traction. A tall, narrow tire delivers more traction rather than a float. Uh, a tire that's wider, that floats, and or duels that are wider and floating. What we what I've seen with the duels around here uh, and some of the mud we have is they're so wide in the back, the back will float and the front will go down so the back's constantly trying to pass the front. Uh, Michael says he lives in PV. Would it be bad to stop by and say hi? He's a big fan. No, of course. Stop in anytime. We're usually here. I can't say that I'm here all the time, but we're usually here. Hi, Mark. Say hi. Say hi. What's up, Mark? <laughs> Montana Well Digger said, would you please stop mentioning my cold ass? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm infatuated with it. What can I say? Where and when do we sign up for the giveaway? Just stay tuned, Regina, once we actually find, figure, not find out, but figure out what Wrecker Rick wants to give away because he changes his mind daily. And we have all the details. We'll post it on our website. We'll give you guys all the details then. It's not happening right now. We don't even know what we're going to give away yet. Yeah, we're going to look at your input, see what y'all think. All right, well, a couple, we just got a couple minutes left, folks. If you have any questions specifically that you can think of, go ahead and drop them real quick. We're going to be booking off here. I got to go get my kids to jujitsu practice and all that fun stuff here in a couple minutes. So, yeah, indies and jujitsu. <laughs> can you give a shout out to my wife, Sue, from WC? What's up, Sue from WC? <laughs> Where are you guys going? Thanks for watching. Huh? What? Are you going to the Matt's Off Road Record game? Yes. It's called the Off. So. It's called off the Off Road game. Games yeah. now. Mm -hmm. I believe we are. What brand leveling kit do you recommend on a Ram 3500 Cummins? Um. What did What did we just uh, put on? Uh, Heavy teeth. Ready lift? Maybe. Uh, I like the ready lift. Ready lift. Mark has the they're cheap, curly. they're easy to get. Huh? If you're like looking for a spring and a Yeah, um the coil. what is it, iCarly? It's Carly. Uh yeah, Carly. Um one of my guys just put a Carly suspension on his truck, a leveling kit. And it was the whole spring and everything, and like he's raving about it, about the ride. I haven't personally been in it, but uh, I usually just do like a, I, if I, I might cut it out of my own plasma table and build one, or put uh, a ready lift in it. Um, I think De Niro's due for another sick haircut. I think he is too. Yeah, a 428 Eliminator. L1 Mastro? Yeah. Yeah, L1 Maestro. That's so right. I think I think so too. Four two eight eliminator said if he wins the contest, he's going with De Niro for a cul de sac haircut. So um, <laughs> and uh, Rick Nelson asked if the Ashworth location is our primary location. Yes. And the governor asked, Will you be going to the Florida Tow Show this year? I don't think so. Uh, I've never been to a tow show in my life, so I don't think I'll start going now. Um, I mean, unless, unless I get a lot of folks Mark, start asking us to go. But. Your brother from California says hi. <laughs> he says hello. Hey, tell him because I'm working not to bug me on YouTube. 
But he said he's working. Don't bug him. What lift was originally on Hellboy? Uh, nothing. It was fa had factory suspension. Uh, J and T Leather, stay tuned for Black Betty and Hellboy merch. We're in the works of something. All right, everybody, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching the video or the live, not video, the live. Well, it'll be a video after this, but so everybody on TikTok, thanks. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. You stay classy. TikTok, you stay classy, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say bye? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Finger bang. You gotta push the button. <laughs>